Hi, Jeff Gibbons here, and in this video, I am going to show you how to create a harmony out of a single melody track in Cubase. So what I've got here is a chunk of audio that I've already pitch corrected using Vary Audio. You can see a previous video for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this track and I'm going to go duplicate tracks. So now I've got a duplicate of this one right beneath it. I'm going to call this Vox BG1 for background vocal. And let's just give this a different color. There we go. So with these two tracks soloed, I am going to start listening to this yellow take. I'm going to double click on it so that I can see it down below in the sample editor. And I'm going to click the pitch and warp tab in the inspector and I'll be able to see the pitches right over here and I'm going to start tuning uh, the vocals to, uh, to different pitches. And I'm going to make a harmony right out of this melody track. So I go right to the beginning and I press play. Of all the money. And right now we're hearing both tracks at the same time. And uh, even because they're exactly the same, it just sounds louder. So what I do is I need to select the pitches and move them up. So I'm going to do this one by one. And I'm just going to move this up. And if we do it with this little speaker icon on, we will actually hear the note uh, uh, as uh, we move uh. it up. It's quite, it sounds funny, but here we go. And I'm going to move this. There we go. There's our first harmony. And I'm going to move this one. There it is right there. Okay, so I know uh, with this song, uh, let's go to, let's zoom these tracks to two rows and let's have a look at the key that I am in. So I am just going to go to my little harp track right here and we'll have a listen to it. Of all the money that I had, I spent. So we can tell using our theory knowledge that we are in the key of D. So if I go back to my audio track, that's going to really inform how I punch in these harmonies. And now, by the way, there is a way to do this kind of thing using the chord track in Cubase. This is the manual approach, and I like to work this way because uh, I like to be very specific about where the harmonies are going and which harmonies are being used. So let's have a listen to this. Of all the money. And then now I, I can check if I go back to the Pitch and Warp tab, I can check my harmonies and make sure they're lining up with the key of D major over on the left hand side here. And then I'm going to move these notes up a certain amount. And harmonies are usually based on thirds and sixths or sometimes the fourth or fifth depending on the chord that's underneath it. And I'm just using my ear here. That's probably going to sound good right there. That one's got to be an F sharp because that's in the key. I'm probably going to punch this one up here as the harmony is sticking in my head. And again. Not quite. There it is right there. I spent it. And this one I'm going to move right up to the D. And put this one back to the A. And I'm probably going to want the pitch to be straightened a little bit more on this one right here. I spent it in. That sounds completely wrong. Let's move this one. In this case, I'm going to hold the shift key and just drag this down until it feels right. It should be an A right there. I spent it in. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to straighten that even more so that this note is just straightened. I spent it in. And uh, I could even cut this by pressing the tab key 
and mousing over the bottom half of this chunk of audio. And now I go back to the uh, pitch and warp, and I can move this guy up just a little bit. It's in good call. And then do the same correction right here. Good call. Make sure the notes are good. in the key signature. Good company. And then move uh, this one to a D and a C sharp. Company. So I've created my harmonies just by using Vary Audio. Uh, I used to use Melodyne to do this kind of stuff, and I've switched over to Vary Audio because it works extremely well. Um, so let's have a listen to what this kind of thing sounds like when you do this on a whole song. Of all the money that I had, I spent it in good company. So it definitely has an image and heat kind of thing going on, and uh, um, but it just sounds amazing, and it does doesn't sound completely real. I realize that. But I kind of like that in this song. It just works for me. It um, doesn't work in every situation, but it sure is a neat effect. And it just sounds beautiful with Catherine's voice. Um, so make sure you go to SoundCloud to check out the, uh, the final song. And be sure to go to gibbonscreative.ca to check out other projects that I and my wife create. Thanks for watching.